Dun, 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 dun. Reflections of the light in my glasses. Oh, hello, folks. Welcome back. For I'm the one, the only. I am Hobo Tom. Yes, I'm clean shaven. And eight hours and 48 minutes. I have an interview to go to. Is that short? Maybe. So, yep, so I'm clean shaven. I got my clothes set up. I am good to go. I just want to make this video, get this done and over with. I can cross off one more thing. And I'm not that far behind then. That's good. I just have video to make tomorrow. Two. One will be easy, though. Scratch it off. I'm here. I'm only one day behind, which the fact that I'm only one day behind, or probably two days by the time this comes up, is pretty spectacular, I think. So I haven't heard back from my one job. As far as I know, I'm fired. <laughs> By Friday. Which is fine, because that means I can work 40 hours, uh, 40 hours at the other job. Still make more money. Even though they gave me my 6% percent raise. My extra 60 cents. But yep, I am here. Because I'm here not to talk about my employment woes or issues. Or lack thereof. But I'm here to talk a little bit about NXT. NXT, NXT, and eventually I think, maybe tomorrow, I don't know, we'll see how things go, I'll do a stand and deliver predictions, who knows, tomorrow, tomorrow, when I go to my other job, Kim Kardashian might show up, and just take me away from everything, again, two wrestlers, don't laugh, because two wrestlers showed us my store, showed to the store, the Undertaker, my Undertaker, and Austin Aries, Two more than I would ever thought. But again, I have some thank yous to give out. XD Jones. You, sir, are a superior person. And you know that Natalia is superior. So let's see around. Start off with... NXT, of course. We had Imperium versus MSK and L.A. Knight. Oh. Eli Drake is so good. Um, I think I got to this a little bit late because I think I took a nap. Because I, I, I went to work, did my grocery shopping, said screw it. Took a nap and woke up. Yeah, so I missed most of it. But still, I'm pretty sure the wrestling was pretty solid. MSK can do flippy stuff all over the place. LA Knight is so good. I want him to I want him to be the next Tommaso Champ in NXT. I know that sounds terrible for him, but still it makes sense. He's just so good in NXT. I don't know what they would do with him, honestly. And um the main roster. So who knows? Alright, here we go. I'll give you guys see this is what happens at my house. Check this out. There is my technical producer right down there. Yeah, she's not doing her job. Maybe she is doing her job. Who knows? There we go. You set that where it should be. Actually, that looks better than it was. It's more centered, although there's all kind of light reflecting off my glasses. So I don't want to take my contacts out so they have the proper cleansing time of, of at least seven hours. It is a good solution, and it will burn your eyeballs out. Yeah, enough about that, though. Um, Ellie Knight gets a hot tag eventually, drops the peep, the people's elbow. Eichner is, is, is such good heavy starts. Uh, MSK is so good. They're so flippy. Gunther, Gunther and Ellie Knight, they, they fight to the back. I'll tell you what, Imperium wins. Solid match. Cheeseburger match. Then the Creed brothers show up because they're going to be fighting at Stand and Deliver. I guess WrestleMania week. Let me know, folks. Is this like the is this one of the more underwhelming WrestleManias? It was neat to see WrestleMania on Thunderdome. Um, this one just seems meh. I mean, there are going to be five good matches. AJ Styles versus Edge. Utterly amazing match. 
Bianca Belair versus Becky Lynch should be actually pretty good. Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar should be pretty good. Um, actually, there might only be three really good matches. Ronda Rousey, Charlotte Flair could go either way. Is everything else a multi tag? Is everything else multi person or celebrity? Wow. So, yeah. Then there was a Kylie Rye with a thick Scottish accent, which, even though other people say sounds terrible, hey, listen, she starts mowing that in my bed. Power to me. Power to her, too. And Io Shirai gave a promo. And the next match, ugh. Um, this whole thing with Tiffany Stratton isn't good. Ivy Niles needs a little bit more Florida house show circuit time, if you know what I mean. Uh, Ivy kind of drops Tiff with a kick. And I, I don't know, they did something. I'm like, huh? Well, like, it was against the ropes. It was that. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was the butt to face. That was just weird. A couple reversals. Um, I just wrote down, this is bad. Again, they buried the million dollar dream, the signature, the, the finisher of the million dollar man, Ted DiBiase, the Kata Hajine, the Taz mission. They just absolutely buried that. Tiffany, kind of, um, and there were some stomps. Ivy had some kicks in. Tiffany counters something with a clothesline. And then there was smoke and Sray did her Sailor Moon transformation with a smoke. I will give her credit for theatrics, though. Wasn't that bad. Uh, this, of course, led to a distraction. Ivy was the behind the back dragon sleeper thing she does. <sighs> Both of these women have potential. I get Ivy's gimmick. She's with Diamond Mine. Tiffany Stratton, Stratton is daddy's little girl. I think they need a lot more time on some, something a little bit more forgiving other than a national audience like, like the Florida House Show the Flo, Florida House Show Circuit. I'll say that five times faster. Because on national TV, I don't know. This was a can of soup. And yeah, Tommaso Ciampa, and on his chair, it said 2022. Farewell, Mr. Ciampa. Psycho killer himself is leaving, I fear. Uh, Dolph Ziggler had a promo. Core Jade had a promo. Core Jade looks way too teenagerish for me to even stare at. I feel like the cops are going to knock on my door, not for mailing out booze to people, not for watching illegal wrestling streams, but because I stared at Cora Jade's woman parts too inappropriately. Yeah, this makes me feel dirty for some reason. And that's saying a lot. I've done a lot of bad and or questionable things. Only a few, th I don't think I could ever say I did anything dirty. She, she shocked me with that. It was the one woman, I guess. She was kind of nymphy, though. And saying, oh, I want you to come over every day. I'm like, I need to sleep. I need to work. Yeah, I need to pay the car off so I can drive to see. That is an odd thought. Enough about my woes. Let's talk about Legado del Fantasma versus Jensen and Briggs. This was an absolute shocker. This was actually pretty good. Uh, Jensen had a big power slam. Raul Mendoza is very quietly one of the best pro wrestlers on NXT. I hope he stays there for life and is not relegated to being pulled up just for a cheery, happy moment like Aaliyah was. Aaliyah's been on WWE main roster a few times. Then Absolutely nothing with her. Aaliyah should have stayed in NXT. Let her develop a little bit more. I mean, I can see her on the on main event, so that's not too bad. Just keep her on main event in NXT. Same thing with Raul Mendoza. Keep him on, on NXT forever. He could be like the next Tommaso Ciampa. 
And DJ Z is pretty good too. Um, Jensen Briggs, they did the double shoulder, shoulder tackle. That's good though. Briggs, the big guy. Oh, just a bear hug. I love classic old school moves like that though. Uh, the bear hug was like the first wrestling move I think I learned. Everyone knows what the bear hug is too. You say, well, well, what's a wrestling move? Majority of people will say headlock, noogies, and, and bear hug, I think. Maybe drop kicks. That's pretty f fancy. Pile driver. Everyone knows what, everyone fears the pile driver in DDT. The bear hug. Such a class. Headlock. Classic stuff. Uh, again, uh, Jensen and Briggs, they, the, the double shoulder tackle. Raul, the pop up drop kick. That was great. DJ Z. That, like, I don't even know how to describe the elbow drop. He hangs himself at a 90 degree angle at the ring post, falls down, does not hit his head on the apron. Because that's what I would do. I'd fall straight down. I'd, get, I'd probably break my neck, give myself a concussion, and split my skull open on the apron. Even though it's not necessarily the hardest part of the ring, just the weird angle you go at. He dropped that, amazing, that impossible elbow off the ring post. Holy wow. Uh, Jensen gets beat up in the corners. Very typically, again, you have the double teams. A double team suplex, not the one-on-two suplex. Uh, Briggs gets a hot tag. Um... The Tiger Bomb Backbreaker. Oh, so good. Raul does a rope walking. Amazing. And then there's a cat fight outside with, with a Henley and Gomez. Oh, wow. So, see, this is what I like. Jensen and Briggs, they have potential. As long as they don't do anything real stupid with them, even with Henley. I mean, being like the rednecks that they are. You do kind of see they might have that free British vibe with them. And I kind of, again, nostalgia is great. Freebird nostalgia is amazing. Not so, the only thing better than Freebird nostalgia, Von Erich, Baron Von Rasky, and probably Steinert nostalgia. Steinert nostalgia is number one, though. Uh, Briggs did a choke slam. And then they did. A running, a running total elimination. That was good. Jensen Briggs wins. You know what? I'm impressed. Cheeseburger match. Then we had Indian Purge to describe their sex life. Not something I necessarily wanted to. Uh, yeah, only because it's it's a bunch of guys. Two guys are involved. I'm, yeah. If it was between the two of them, yeah, that'd be cool. But no, I don't want to hear what the other guy does. Yeah. Um, Cameron Grimes has a promo. Toxic Attraction shows up to the ring. They talk, and we just get to stare at Gigi's ass. That's all that is. That's, that's all that was all Discord was doing was just praising the posterior of Gigi. I don't even know what her last name is. It's not Gigi Allen. He, he, he would throw, throw poop at people. Yeah, this is Gigi whoever. Then we had a, a Bodie Hayward versus Von Wagner match. This was pretty good. Now, Von Wagner, for the most part, works over Brody, Brody Hayward. It made sense. Every so often, Brady Hayward do something great. But then, uh, like, Von Wagner missed a kick. And then he hit something else on Brody. It made sense. Yeah, this is his graduation to take take this match. I I thought it was actually pretty good. It was it wasn't great. I mean, I could have had the same match. It was a ham, but I got into it. They didn't do anything egregious. There weren't any botches. It's a ham sandwich match. And then Jir was was there, and I don't know. Yeah, that was something about that. Someone is disproportionately overbooked. I forget who that was. But then we had Joe Gacy versus Draco Anthony. Joe Gacy is another character that I'm kind of gro that's growing on me. There was no hug after being dropped. That was good. Um... 
joke and he had a little flirt. He had a little like flare white combination on the ropes. That's bringing me the, the headbutt. Uh, Draco is getting frustrated now. Draco, however, gets defeated by whatever Joe's, Joe Gacy's. I forget if he had a pile driver or something like that. I'll tell you what though. Back, this was a short match, but Joe Gacy's growing on me. Yes. Again, they didn't do anything special. Ham sandwich match. Then we had a Rex Steiner promo. Rex Steiner still amazing. Uh, then we had Nikita Hines versus Saloni Jacobs. And oh my goodness. Oh, the best part of this match is that I can see the straps of Nikita Lyons silver thong. I see thong straps. For some reason, I get happy. That uh, was a big shoulder tackle. Heavy strikes by Nikita Lyons. Yeah, what's her face? Gets some some offenses. Lyons has a pretty good Simone drop, though. Uh, she hit her spinning kick and then that split drop. I don't want that to happen to me. Nikita. Hey, I'm single too, okay? Yeah, again, just seeing the thong strap made me feel happy. I got nothing particularly special about this match. Ham sandwich of a match. And there was a little diamond mine promo. Good stuff. And then we had our final match, our main event. Roderick Strong versus Cameron Grimes versus A-Kid. I have no clue what a is doing here. I thought A-Kid already beat Cameron Grimes for this. Again, this is like the loser qualify. This is like the loser qualification match to be into the ladder match, which again I'll have to write down and make predictions for yes. But yeah, um, yeah, a kid flies a lot. I mean, did in this match everyone got their stuff in. There was an apron spot fest, which was pretty good. And then the winner showed up, the previous winner showed up ringside just to see uh, Grimes. And takes it to everyone. Then it's Roddy's turn. Then eventually it's Aka's turn. Eventually Cameron Grimes wins out after the um, stomp to someone. I think Roddy ate it this time. Yeah, Cameron Grimes is moving on. He's going to be another competitor in the ladder match. Solid cheeseburger match. So yeah, there we go. NXT, I'll tell you what, NXT was a better go-home show. First pay-per-view than Raw was, at least. Um, again, so there's one more show I have to do. That's going to be the AEW show. I'm going to have some predictions. And then I'm going to see what I can catch on Saturday. And depending if I'm working, who knows? Maybe I'll see the whole thing Sunday. I have no clue.